Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another early bird episode. Today is 4th of February, where we look at the market before it, the news before the market opens. So first on the list, uh, Rob Lowe of the Reserve Bank of Australia is um, not concerned about the way that the market, um, property market and the share market has been rising. The RBA just bought $100 billion of government bonds, and uh, it's the reason why it's not worries because it's not seeing changes to the lending standards that is uh, affecting the house prices. Um, now, the ha rising house prices will affect GDP and that will affect the Australian dollars, but the RBA actually wants to push the Australian dollars down because that is actually costing the job. So it's kind of just doing quantitative easing because every other country is, is doing it. Uh, so you can see that uh, the Australian dollars has come off its 78 cents high uh, at the moment, kind of like um, uh, floating around the 76, not sure where it, whether it's going to go down or not. Uh, so there's um, critics that are saying like the RBA has done uh, quantity easing a little bit too slow and that's going to have repercussion around the Australian market. Microsoft versus Google. So uh, with the news media bargaining code where Australian wants uh, Google and Facebook to pay for the news contents that uh, it displays on its platform. Um, so Google has threatened to pull its search products out of Australian market and Microsoft kind of stepped up uh, and wanting to replace Google saying that it will be happy to sacrifice profits in order to uh, support journalism. So Microsoft President Brad Smith voices support for the news media bargaining code. At the moment, uh, Bing, which is Microsoft's search product, only has around 3.62% of the search engine market, while Google is dominating at 94.5%. Now, some uh, analysts saying like the threat is pretty, em the threat from Google is pretty empty, and that it won't go through with it. Uh, however, there's definitely um, a little bit of presumption on Microsoft part say, saying that it could fuel Google's shoe. So that's uh, w really interesting to see what's hap uh, how this will turn out because this is going to set precedent all around the world and it's going to affect Google in some way or the way that search engines are operated. All right, last for today, uh, Ga GameStop and AMC again. Uh, so it has stay the shares have stabilized. In fact, it's gone up. So you can see cost um, gone up by 27.25% uh, express. So they're all gone up um, from uh, since Tuesday. Uh, now, Robinhood, the um, online brokerage, um, mobile facing online brokerage, could be facing scrutiny from the SEC, so that's the Security Exchange Commission, uh, because of its um, uh, this action to block purchases of GameStop. Now, people are accusing it of doing that to protect uh, its, um, like the big trading uh, houses. So, um, and Citadel Securities, a sister company of Citadel Hedge Fund, rejects claims that it has instructed Robinhood to stop, suspend, or limit trading. Um, and one of the thing is, so that's Citadel right there, while that's Citadel Security. So the Citadel is a hedge fund, while Citadel Securities is um, a sister company of Citadel. Now, uh, a point of contention that was brought up by uh, Bill Gurley, who's a venture capitalist, is the need to ban payment uh, for order flow, which is a practice where market makers, so these guys, it is like, like or example, an example of the market maker is Citadel Securities, pay broker, which is Robinhood, for sending trades their way. So um, yeah, we'll be s seeing how this all um, pan out. At, um, from what I've read, that um, payment for order flow is actually uh, banned in uh, Canada and another uh, in, in the UK because because for the conflict of interests. And that's pretty much for today's early bird. Uh, if you like what you see, share and subscribe. If you have any other comments regarding any of the topics that we talked about today, please add in the comment. Thank you very much. Take care. And have a great day trading. Bye.